And I kind of jokingly said to the driver, uh, you're not the shooter, are you? He gave me some sort of a no response, like a, he shook his head or he said no. And that man was one of the lucky ones. Turn out he was in the car with the man now accused of going on that weekend shooting rampage in Kalamazoo. We have somebody just driving around, finding people and shooting them dead in their tracks. When the shooting stopped, there were eight victims and six of them have died. Right now we're learning more about the victims and this afternoon the accused gunman is headed to court. And that does top our news this noon. Thank you so much for joining us. Today, Governor Rick Snyder has ordered all U.S. and state flags for Michigan to be lowered at half staff. Flags have been lowered at the state buildings, including the state capitol, as a sign of respect for the victims in Kalamazoo. Our Lauren Podell joins us live this noon in Kalamazoo outside of St. Augustine Cathedral. Lauren, I understand there's a gathering in remembrance of the victims there. There are going to be many gatherings around this community, Rhonda. Such a tragic event for everyone within Kalamazoo to be dealing with. And yes, St. Augustine Cathedral right behind me will be hosting a 1210 mass to honor the victims and those fighting for their lives still, including a 14-year-old girl who is clinging to life at a local hospital. Now, ironically, all of this unfolding here at St. Augustine, two blocks away from the Kalamazoo District Court, where Jason Dalton will be arraigned later this afternoon. We are waiting to hear what types of charges he could face, but now this man faces up to six murder charges facing life in prison, I should say. We do have new information in from Michigan State Police this noon, Rhonda. They tell us that Dalton is cooperating with the investigation, even talking about the incident. Now, they want to be clear. He has not given a confession, but he is giving them some details about that night. 45-year-old Jason Dalton is facing multiple murder and gun charges after going on a six-hour shooting spree throughout Kalamazoo Saturday. Dalton will be arraigned this afternoon. In the meantime, a community trying to pick up the pieces from a prayer vigil last night. To grief counseling today for those who knew and loved 17 year old Tyler Smith. He was one of the happiest people you could ever meet. No one ever saw him without a smile on his face. Smith was a senior at Matawan High School. Police say Smith and his father were looking for cars at a dealership 10 p.m. Saturday when they were gunned down. We spoke to the district superintendent by phone who tells us the high school has over 30 counselors in place. Our auditorium, we've made a quiet spot that they can just go in and not talk to anyone, just be there. We've designated about a half dozen classrooms that are staffed with grief grief counselors um, that are well trained. Dr. Buckler's son had class with Tyler, whose empty seat will be devastating for students and staff. He was really well liked by a lot of students. He was in the um, marketing program at the um, tech center, kind of getting those pieces in place, ready to go to his next journey at post-secondary. As for Matt Mellon, he's counting his blessings today. He got maybe a mile from my house. He got a telephone call. After that telephone call, he started driving really erratically. Um, we were running stop signs. After he was in the back seat of Dalton's Uber car less than two hours before the shootings began. We were kind of driving through medians, driving through the lawn, speeding along, and then finally once he came to a stop, I jumped out of the car and ran away. And All right, and back out here live, Mellon did say after those scary moments, after he jumped out of that Uber car, he called 911, even called Uber themselves, and posted a warning on Facebook about Dalton. Now, all of this happening before the shootings even took place. Uber has since released a statement. You may have heard that they are saddened by these tragic events, but at the time, Dalton did pass the appropriate background test. Now, back out here in Kalamazoo, uh, in downtown Kalamazoo, I should say, that arraignment expected to take place as early as 1.30 or later. Our crews will certainly be in there. But, Rhonda, as you take a live look at St. Augustine Cathedral, where this mass is going to be starting at 12.10, we can already hear bells ringing. You take one look at that parking lot, and you can see it is full. Vigils that have been taking place in the last 24 hours have not only been filled with people, friends, and family of the victims, but complete strangers who want to send their thoughts and prayers to those struggling through this tragedy. Reporting live from Kalamazoo, Lauren Podell, Rhonda, back to you.